Hello everybody and welcome to the Quilter's Apothecary. Today I would like to have a discussion about a mode that some of us are actually underutilizing on our long arm machines. And many long arm machines have this wonderful mode and it's called many different things. A lot of people will refer to it as a cruise mode. Some people will refer to it as a coast mode. And on the Innova that we're using today, it's actually referred to as a start speed. So let's go over to the machine and talk a little bit about why we have these modes on the machine originally and now how they can benefit us at a time when we all have stitch regulators that run amazing. Traditionally the function of a stitch regulator is to move at your speed. When you speed up, it speeds up. When you slow down, it slows down. And so we have this wonderful marriage in a stitch regulator between the user and the machine that we are using. Many of us found the benefits of utilizing the early stitch regulators wonderful. We absolutely loved them, but they were not perfect. They still had some things to work out. One of them was when you would go into a point or into a corner and then start again, the machine would pause and it would take a split second to engage once you started moving. Thus, we would have the horrible long stitch when we came out of the corners. Nowadays, stitch regulators have evolved to a point where there are no long stitches. Um, you have wonderful stitch regulators that you can do pretty much anything and you are not going to get a long stitch. And so a lot of people tended to put their cruise mode or their coast mode or their start speed mode on zero and not utilize it. And I find that I absolutely love to use still my cruise, my start speed, whatever mode you want to call it, consistently because as an experienced quilter, when you reach a certain level, you tend to move a little bit faster and it's almost like running a self-propelled lawnmower. You don't have to give it that extra push to get it going. So let's... Okay, now as we get started here, whenever I use the word start speed, you can substitute cruise mode if that's what you have on your machine. So when I say raise your start speed, you're actually going to raise the speed of your cruise mode for those of you that have a cruise mode rather than a start speed. Right now we're going to start with just the regular stitch regulator. I'm going to have a ruler down. And traditionally, you go, you stop, you shift your ruler, you go again. And again, these days, the stitch regulators we all have on our machines give you that perfect point. But sometimes what it comes down to is just a little bit of extra momentum if you've been quilting for many years. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to actually raise my start speed, or you can refer to it as your cruise mode speed, to 100. And what that's going to give me is even when I'm perfectly still, this is what the speed the needle is going to move at. So if I'm an experienced quilter, I can actually utilize my rulers with a very slow sh start speed and it's going to give me a nice momentum as I work around smooth areas with my ruler work. So that's one of the ways in which we can utilize our start, our start speed and enjoy that function on our machine. Now, as you get better at quilting and as you get used to utilizing your start speed or your cruise mode, what you can also do is turn it up. For example, if I come over here and I actually start doing some type of filler work, what I might find is that when I go into my swirls and come out and around, if I actually change my start speed or my cruise speed to a higher speed, so right now I'm going to put this at 200 enter, what will happen is that's changed my start speed. Now remember, with the start speed, that's just the slowest it'll go as you slow down. It will still speed up and give you the stitch regulation that you come to depend on. It's just that when you bounce into corners, you no longer have to push the machine as hard. And so everything just flows a little bit more smooth. Now again, the more experienced you get, you may then want to raise your start speed. 
So now I'm going to go, we were at 200 then, now I'm going to take it up to 400. And now, it's going to run at that speed when I slow down. But when I'm doing filler work or edge to edge work, I don't need my machine to come to a full stop. I'm going to echo around here, and again, every time I go into a point, it's getting that nice crisp, crisp stitch. Now, how would I know if I had my cruise speed set too fast? I would know I had my cruise speed set too fast if it started taking more than two to three stitches in that point when I come to a stop, because then it's going to build up a knot. And at that point, then you might want to back it off just a notch. And again, once you explore using the cruise speed, you're going to play with it a little bit and figure out what works best for you because the speeds that work best for me are not going to work best for you it's all based on your body mechanics and how fast you move the machine well i hope that helps clear up a few misconceptions that some of you might have about utilizing your start speed or your cruise mode or your coast mode Again, don't be confused by the verbiage. It's very simple. It's just that additional part of your stitch regulator if you happen to have it. And now most of us happen to have it because it is a wonderful function on whatever brand of machine we run. And I hope you've enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and take care of each other. We'll see you down the road.